Richard Rush, the youngest attorney general, was born on August 29, 1780, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was the son of Dr. Benjamin Rush, who signed the Declaration of Independence. Rush entered Princeton in 1793 at the age of 13 and graduated in 1797. He went on to study law and was admitted to the bar in 1800. In 1811 he served as Attorney General of Pennsylvania. President Madison appointed him Controller of the Treasury. After declining the office of the Secretary of the Treasury, he was appointed Attorney General of the United States under President Madison on February 10, 1814. For a short time in 1817 he also performed the duties of the Secretary of State, but was never formally appointed to that position. From 1817 to 1825 he served as Minister to England. He was recalled to be Secretary of the Treasury under President John Quincy Adams, and also was Adams' vice presidential running mate. In 1847 he was President Polk's choice for Minister to France, and held that office for four years. He also served on the Board of Regents of the Smithsonian Institution. He was author of A Residence in the Court of London, and other literary works. He died in Philadelphia on July 30, 1859. The Department of Justice traces its beginning to the first Congress meeting in New York in 1789, at which time the Congress devoted itself to creating the infrastructure for operating the federal government. After meeting for several months the legislators passed a bill known as the Judiciary Act that provided for the organization and administration of the judicial branch of the new government, and included in that act was a provision for appointment of a meat person, learned in the law, to act as Attorney General for the United States. Although it would be nearly another century before Congress would create the Department of Justice, the establishment of the Attorney General position marks the true beginning of the department. The Judiciary Act was passed by Congress and signed by President George Washington on September 24, 1789, making the Attorney General position the fourth in the order of creation by Congress of those positions that have come to be defined as cabinet-level positions.